These are your Harvard Athletics Top 5 Plays of the Week, presented by Harvard University Employees Credit Union. At number 5, men's heavyweight rowing. The Crimson continued its strong season by capturing the Adams Cup with wins over Penn and Navy on the Charles River. Harvard's first varsity eight crew topped the midshipmen and the Quakers by 7 and 13.3 seconds respectively to bring home the trophy and improve its record to 5-0 on the season. At number four, baseball. With a score tied at 10-10 in the bottom of the eighth inning in Harvard's series finale at Princeton, the Crimson executed a pinpoint relay from left field to keep the game tied. After Chris Snopek corralled the ball, he fired to Jake Berger, who delivered a strike to catcher Sawyer Feller for the out. The Crimson went on to take the game in 12 innings, 14-10. At number three, softball. Harvard rallied from 3-0 down in the rubber game at Brown, and then Morgan Melito gave the Crimson the lead with an eighth inning leadoff solo home run. The seniors' fourth home run of the season proved to be the difference as Harvard returned to Cambridge with a 4-3 victory. At number two, men's lacrosse. With time expiring in the first quarter, a save by Kyle Mullen led to a ground ball pickup from Tommy Martinson. Martinson sprinted down the field and dished to Sam King. King then fired it in to beat the buzzer as time expired. Harvard went on to upset number three, Princeton, 19-16. At number one, women's rugby. With Harvard leading Dartmouth by a score of 12-0 in the Ivy Sevens championship game, senior Cassidy Bargo collected the ball at midfield and made one defender miss with a juke move before stiff-arming the next in her path and racing home for the try. The score gave the Crimson a 17-0 advantage on its way to another Ivy Sevens crown. That's it for this week's top five plays. Check out the Ivy League on ESPN for more live and on-demand content.